Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and here we have a new knife from Max Ace. And I've already checked it out, and I instantly had to record because this thing has the weirdest sound I've possibly ever heard out of a knife. <laughs> so, first off, this is the Albatross. Yes, the Albatross, the Max Ace Albatross. And I'm going to pull the mic close so you can hear what this thing is going to sound like. And I'm going to imagine that hopefully the people in the UK appreciate this one. Because it is a slip joint. So now that you've heard the unique sound, let's go through this thing. This thing, it sounds wicked. It sounds wild. So it has the, the same type of action as the other Max Ace. I think it was the, the Beetle. The Beetle. Where it has multiple stops. Because if you look, there's angles around here. So when you open it, it has lots of different stops. Like right there, it stops. Stop there. There's like two stops on, on every corner. Was that sound the knife? Yeah. Do it. What on earth? I heard that from around the corner and had to come in here. Sounds and like hear an it. alien, right? Can you fling the knife open or no? No, but this is very easy. Like I can actually go like this. Yeah, I wanted to hear that. Yeah, wow. I can do that, but I can't, but it's not a one-handed knife, even right. though I can do it. Um, crazy. Yeah, I've very crazy. All right, so we have a clip point blade, an elongated recurved clip point blade, an M390. Yes, M390, and this is the Albatross. Um, I know I've already said that, but there you go. You can see it right there, and it's a slight recurve, not a major recurve, so... Ah, I think this would be pretty easy for people to sharpen. I don't think you're going to need special stones for this type of recurve. So this is a recurve that's actually going to be great because you're going to get the benefits of the recurve without the downsides. I can 100% sharpen this on a flat stone because the taper where the recurve is, is not really long. So you could put this part of the, the, the knife on the stone right there and then sharpen across. So that is really cool. Um, a straight clip point blade, I believe. Yes, very cool. So that's even gonna be even better for EDC. It is relatively slim. It's not too slim, so it's not gonna be fragile or anything. Great ergos, you do not have a clip, so it's going to be extremely comfortable in every grip. This is going to be, this would be an awesome knife, like work-wise. Now, I normally love my locking knives, and I do like to have a clip. So that's the one major downside for me, but it, but I know, and I'm not sure about the length, the rules, and laws, and everything, but a lot of people in the UK really like the slip joints, or like, at least that's what they're, they're allowed to have. So I don't know about length over there, but... This seems like a knife that would be really cool over there. Um, and even even here, you know, because a lot of people love to carry slip joints here. Like, slip joints are a, you know, obviously it's a very popular um, thing in the USA, too. And a lot of other places. But this is, you know, a full-size knife. It's, it's not a little slip joint. Like, I can pull up, you know, one of my slip joints right here and you can see... This is one of the Jack Wolf knives. Now, this one isn't one of the large Jack Wolf knives, but it's still, you know, one of the medium-sized Jack Wolf knives. Not the smallest, not the biggest. And you can see how it is, you know, right there. Um, or how much bigger it is than a regular slip joint. Beautiful sharpening tool and plunge grind. They executed that perfectly. That That's amazing. Um, then all the edges are kind of chamfered and crowned over. You have this beautiful carbon fiber. I think it's carbon. Yeah, this beautiful marbled carbon fiber inlay. You got a little bit of decoration on the edges and the sides. Anodized hardware, so it must be titanium hardware. 
least it seems. Pretty sure it is. Um, back spring has a little bit of milling. You can actually, I think you can see through. Yeah, you can. It's got a little bit of a floating back spring. That's different. Normally, you don't see a floating back spring. So. Lots of coolness on this one. This one's pretty unique. You do not see things like this all the time. And, you know, yes, it's a slip joint, but it's a unique one, you know, with the action, the way the sound is. And I also appreciate this. You can easily close this one-handed. And I don't mean just because the back spring tension. That was my fault. Because I can't whip it out, but not because just because the back spring tension is um, light on the lighter side, because that is true. It's not very, it's not that it's weak, it's just the blade is so long that you have a ton of leverage on it. And, you know, the back springs is, is long too, so there's not a ton of tension on it. Um, but not just because of that, but because you have all these little stops. So you have a line of defense when you go to close it, you know, if you want to hit it with your thumb. You can drop it down right there, right there, you know, because it's going to stop. So it kind of adds a little bit of a defense or, you know, protection for you to close it uh, one-handed. Now, opening it one-handed, the way I'm doing is I'm grabbing it, I'm gripping it like this, pinching it out, and then just dropping it. And it, it's very easy to do, actually, but not, it's gonna, not going to be practical, right? You can't just grip it. Well, maybe you can. Okay, so you can grip it one-handed and pull it out, but it's not the easiest. My fingers are wedging in there pretty tight. It's not the not the easy. I, I can't do it up here. I have to go down here towards the bottom, and then, yeah, I guess I could do it, and, and because of the stops, again, it's actually pretty easy, but that's not practical. Most of the time, you're going to grab it, and you're going to pull it out one-handed and listen to that wicked sound. This is so crazy. Anyways, so just a quick look at um, the, the new Max Ace Arbitros. I'm, I'm impressed. I think it's really cool. I think this thing could make a badass EDC knife for a lot of people. Like I could just totally see this just being used out in the field, at home, you know, or, you know, whatever, in your garden, <laughs> wherever you use your knife at, this, this thing would be very versatile um, at work. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.